Good evening children. Today let us study about forest society and colonialism. You know that the these peoples, tribals, the peop, these peoples, they collect uh, forest produce. Forest products they collect from the forest. That was their customary right. These forest dwellers can collect uh, these forest products for their livelihood in that time. That was their customary right. But when the Britishers they come they come and establish their power in India, they did not allow them to use this. British introduced forest laws, which are the uh, forest products they collected. They collected fruits and tubers, herbs, wood, bamboo, leaves, etc. Fruits and tubers they make it as nutritious food. Herbs they used it to make medicines. Wood they used it to make yokes and plows. Even furniture also. Then bamboos they used to make fences, baskets, etc. The leaves they used to make disposable plates, cup, etc. So these forest resources they use it and they sell in the market and with that they leave. Forest dollars they collect these forest products with these items uh, for their livelihood. But uh, later on what happens, uh, Britishers they divided the forest into three. Which are that forest, uh, reserved forest, protected forest and village forest. Villagers they can use protected and village forest only. They were not allowed to take anything from the reserved forest. So in this time, uh, the commission was appointed uh, to know about these villages and their livelihood. Imperial Forest Research Institute was established that time uh, they decided to introduce a new law that uh, new law that forest laws they implemented forest laws and, and introduced scientific forestry in India. So uh, this Brandis was appointed uh, as the commissioner to anger about the problems of the people that time Brandis he came to India and uh, he introduced uh, scientific forestry as well as introduced many laws forest laws many laws were implemented as for the scientific forestry one type of this species of plants only allowed to plant only one species of plant that was allowed allowed to grow so forest officials they maintained moreover the forest officials were uh, appointed they maintained all the records all trees can cut in the same day because only one species only they cultivated that types of cultivation they call it as scientific forestry. So you know that this forest they are divided into two reserved protected and village forest only protected and village forest only allowed to uh, allowed them to use. Uh, then villages uh, earlier they collected fuel fodder leaves etc in that times so later on what happened you know that uh, they um, they um, decided to plant uh, they decided to plant the crops like plantation crops they decided like rubber like rubber uh, tea uh, then tea coffee rubber they decided they planted these plant these crops these crops we can call, call it as plantation crops so uh, so what happens uh, the food crops that declined and uh, instead of food crops that plantation crops that was uh, established so later on what happens many trees they were cut out, cut for different purposes for uh, railway sleepers they cut the forest you can see that railway sleepers for railway sleepers they cut the trees they cut the trees for railway sleepers as well as um, as well as for uh, constructing uh, the ships maintaining ships uh, so that they use this uh, uh, this uh, wood or we can say timber they use the timber forest act uh, that was a severe hardship for the villagers across the country because as per the forest act uh, they were not allowed to take anything from the forest if anybody take anything from the forest uh, cutting wood or collecting fruits or hunting or fishing if they will do uh, such activ activities that is considered as illegal illegal that was illegal for the forest dollars so moreover 
that uh, moreover shifting cultivation that was banned moreover shifting cultivation that was uh, planned so these forest dwellers they collected all these items that was their customary right but now uh, they, they were not allowed to do such a consume then uh, shifting cultivation that was not allowed uh, shifting cultivation totally banned they uh, what is shifting cultivation they clear the forest and put in fire after that they cultivated that area that was banned so they, they then they will put in that fire they put these areas in fire after only they cultivated that shifting cultivation does that was totally banned so that they cannot cultivate crops they cannot take anything from the forest only only they can color the forest that will be divided into three that is reserve protected and village forest and moreover they started british started scientific forestry in india